In this video, I'll show you how to transform this default VS Code setup. It looks somewhere like this. It has a lot of different features available to us, but most of us never use them anyway. I've basically hidden almost everything, and you might be wondering how I get around. My idea is that I don't really want to click much. I use keyboard for everything. There are a few keyboard shortcuts which I use to toggle and manage the file explorer, for example. Quickly jump to files on the console. I think that's it for the most part. Also, I don't really use tabs. They kind of feel like a mess that files over time, and I don't want to manage that. Let's do this step by step. Open the settings, type in activity bar. It is this little thing on the left side. You can click here to hide it. This little bar in the bottom of the screen is called status bar. I chose to keep it, but if you want to hide it, here it is. If you want to hide scroll bars, it is possible too. I personally don't use them, so it's hidden for me. These dots here is white space. I personally really like it. So you can type in render white space to turn it on. The minimap takes a lot of space and doesn't bring any value in my opinion, so it has to go away. As mentioned earlier, I don't use tabs. I've always kind of liked the Beam experience where if you open a new file, it opens in the same window. So I've recreated the experience here. In settings, search for show tabs and turn it off. Next, search for editor limit. Check the limit enable checkbox. Limit per editor group checkbox and set the limit value to 1. Even though I use command as shortcut to save the current file, I also like to enable the auto save focus change setting. So if we keep switching between the files, we automatically save the progress. It's quite handy. If you're wondering about my color theme, it's this guy here, Catpuccin. Call it Cappuccino, it's kind of easier to pronounce and everything. So give it a go. It's a really nice theme. And I use it everywhere. I use it for my terminal app, for my NeoVim, and also for my VS Code setup. So it's all good here. Let's wrap this up here. Next week, I'll try to record a video where I'll show you my keyboard shortcuts and plugins that I use for web development. But that's basically it. I am a little bit tight on time right now, but I plan to start recording more videos. So if you're interested in web development, TypeScript, Node.js, React, Tailwind, CSS, and all of the good stuff, tune in for more.